Hello and welcome to a White Star Wargaming and some core space by Battle Systems. We'll be playing the first mission from the Get to the Shuttle expansion, this being Shuttle Run. This one is going to be fast right off the bat with a hostility level of 13 before we start. So straight into Cover Me in the first turn. With any purge that are killed, they will be coming on at a random entry point. So it's going to be a shootout from turn 2 or 3 onwards. So we will either make it off and get the shuttle, or we die. So this looks like it's going to be one of the hardest games that we've done here. So let's see how it goes. So I hope you enjoy the campaign. Please leave comments below and like and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. So without further ado, let's get this mission started and follow the crew as they progress further on their career as traders. Right, uh, we've set up the board here. We're doing the shuttle run run from the get to the shuttle expansion uh, we'll show you that up close uh, uh, more details at the end um, so we've got a uh, symmetrical layout here we're starting on the bottom here we've got to go through we've got to persuade him we can then get to the shuttle once we have persuaded him back Right, so the overall layout is here. Um, so we've got uh, various entry points on there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, we don't have these. Uh, no idea what that is. I've had a look and I can't find it online anywhere. And we do not have this one either. So we've lobbed in uh, with quite a few others. Starting level is 13 even though that shows 14 uh, highlighted. So we're going to be at the top of Watch Your Back. When we start, we'll then go into Cover Me. And we've already uh, dished out those and placed them on the board. Right. One thing regarding the Purge, when they die, they come straight back on again at an, a random entry point. So that's going to be tough straight away. So hopefully we won't get the assassin on for a while. Otherwise he will be a pain from the start. Right. Primary re reward. We get the shuttle. Uh, we'll go through uh, what you need uh, as and when. That's on a different page there. Secondary objective. Whatever we can get in the crate. Right. The crates are all locked. We, they can't be searched. But you can drag them back to the uh, shuttle. We've got a couple of uh, big ones on the back there. Um, one person can move them two inches, two people can move them four. Uh, once you're in base contact, so that doesn't matter about the size either. We've set up the civilian um, and our contact is Butler. And he is shown down here in the blue position there. He cannot become a live one should they do bear in mind live ones can happen as soon as we start uh, the shuttle dealer there i'll just go through slowly so you can pause and uh, read this at your uh, leisure but once we've got the shuttle we can rent it for that mission you pay for it at the end i think it's seven ua and any successes on a successful pass uh, persuade we actually get to keep the shuttle. There's a little token that goes on your ship's uh, docking point uh, in the hold, and you can use it in subsequent missions. Uh, that's there, just going through the crates. Okay, so that's that. Unfortunately, we won't be doing the second mission, which is actually called Get to the Shuttle because it is absolutely huge this one and it is two uh, mats we only have the one so we'll have to wait uh, until we get another one right so we will now crack on and we'll see you in a bit right let's crack on right i've got to be careful because he will own he doesn't activate unless a purge or a trader comes within short range so to persuade him, we need to keep out of short range first go and then get in there second. But we've got to be wary of the entry point 
six and five over there because straight away we're bringing on potentially everybody <laughs> All right, so we'll move these down so we've got one in there event card what's it worth uh, the nearest unengaged financial trader makes a move action All right we've got nobody on the board yet so we can't do that one so we'll shuffle that one back in and we'll draw the next one rising tension cover me for no live ones in play raise the hostility by two uh, nothing else there uh, I've not rolled for a civilian this round. Randomly reveal a civilian to be a live one at the end of the NPC phase. Oh my god. So we do have a live one coming on this go. But we get... Uh, hostility goes up by two. And we have a live one. So it will be that one or that one that does. So it looks like we're keeping out of the way. So, one, two, we'll come through here, three, four, five, and then we'll move to there, keeping out of short range of him. We've also got to keep out of range of the live one over there. So, let's go, one, two, three, four, to there. And then he will go in and then he will come in behind there like so all keeping out of the five squares so we're six squares away or well five and a half squares and six squares there so that will do for them oh dear right so we get two of these come on straight away so let's see where those end up and they come on at number two, so that's okay. We're up over here, a little bit out of the way, so that is good. Right then, uh, the guys in red come on at number six. That is not what I want. Excellent, so being shot at by him. Oh, no, an assassin. One assassin comes on at number two. Up there, and a live one. Comes on at number three. Shit. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's on a chance die. So that one doesn't matter. Um, he doesn't come on. Whew. Oh, I almost thought he was in then. So, first things first, him. He'll shoot the closest one, which is Gak. For one hit taken on the armor, second attack. Nothing. Oh, wow. Wow. Right, we're now going here. So he will want to fight there. So we'll go uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Coming down there to go through that door and through. These. Uh, one, two, three, four and four those will come round there that's the closest guy there so it's fine and next we have him you've got their moves first he wants to search we go up this way one two three four not moving within four of those so okay him he wants to join crew one two three unfortunately he's way too far away right then so we've got a live one so this one is one two three we roll a five so he is the live one it's annoying because I like the uh, paint job on there. Trevor. Right, so here's a live one. Cack. Okay. Good job there were civilians, otherwise he would have turned up here. 
Right then, turn two. New one in there. Right, we're going to shuffle that one and then come back. Right, shuffled. Unseen enemies. Cover me. From a distance, you spot what appears to be a civilian watching you, but it is in fact a live one acting as a scout. The scout disappears before you can react and raise the hostility by three. Oh, bloody hell. Right, we're now going into charge. Well, we started the round at the bottom of Cover Me. We're ending, well, we're starting round two at the end of Cover Me. Bloody hell. Seven pegs in one turn. Okay. All right, we need to kill him because I don't think we're going to get out of line of sight. Okay, so he is going to go up. One, two, three, four. That's annoying. Um, he will then spend a peg to do a level one um, stubborn, which is a move. Once we go to there, we will then persuade. Right, there's his stats. He's got persuade one, so we need two successes. But the any hits are how long we get the shuttle on a success. So we've got six dice to roll. And we'll re roll this one. Wow. We get six. So we get the shuttle for six missions after this one. Okay, so we did a move, an action, a persuade. So we have one action left. So I'm thinking, where's the assassin? Yeah, the assassin's down there. I'm thinking we have to make a run for it. One, two, three, four, and to there. Get out of line of sight. Right here, we've got Gak, effortless there no we don't he won't do an effortless because he's got some skills there and one is a punch and what it will do no not yet so effortless right two hits one success. I'm going to spend that for an onslaught level one. Use after scoring one or more hits on an enemy in close assault. Make another close assault action. Yes, two hits. Uh, he comes on randomly, so we'll roll for him once I've done. So he's got another action. So he will move up to there. This guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and an effortless. To there, get a cover behind number five. Right, where does he turn up? Turns up at number two. That's a bonus all over there. Okay. This will be nasty with the purge reinforcement box as well. Blimey. Right, so we're now on to purge. These two come on at location two. Yeah, so this seems to be the uh, actual place where they come on then. Red guy, two come on. So that's you and you at number four. You over there and you there. Okay, no line of sight for those. The assassin is already on, and so is the live one. So, uh, you, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, running up through there. Jesus, not good. Live one. Uh, one, two, three, into base contact. Gets a free hit with four dice go on carry damn 
see yet. And get another move. One, two, three, four for their second action. Straight away, it is getting bad. It is getting bad. Right, none of these guys can see, so they will both move. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go. Okay. One, two, three, four. That way. Over here. Uh, one, two, three, four. He moves from there, he got a double move. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. But he will go first, so he will end up there. These two will end behind. One, two, three, four. And these will go to there. Okay. Uh, back one square. Alright, so they're all flooding through there, and I need to run down that corridor. Rubbish. Right, he can now activate. Five. He wants to trade. Uh, one, two, three, four. But he can't reach. Okay, no problem at all. Right. We also have a civilian to come on. Uh, automatically comes on at number one. Um, so here we go. At number one. There we go. So what's he going to do? He's going to attack somebody. Uh, we do we? Yeah, we've got line of sight that way. He's got two dice, right, so we'll go for the one at the back because he's. Well, they're both going to get cover anyway. No, he doesn't do anything, so that is there. Not enough. Right, next. Well, at least we now start getting Galactic Core figures on. Galactic Spy. Right. Uh, cover me to purge. A random civilian is revealed to be a Galactic Spy. Replace that civilian with a Galactic Core Director. Good. So you're off. And you are on. Random, but it wouldn't be him. Oh, it could be him. All right, so one, two, three on the one I've just done. Four, five, six. It's him. One. So it, it is him. Right, okay. So yeah, he can't become a live one. Well, nobody can now that it's on. So where are we going to go? It's looking bad already. Um. So one, two three four and then we'll have a shot through there nicely in the open boom two three four we will in fact I'm not in short range one two three four five I need to do an effortless action to there I'm now in short range so we will do Four dice, put a peg in there. One, two, three, four. We also have the re-roll. Oh, needs the re-roll. Yes. He comes back on. Right, that's a move, a shoot. We have another move. But I'm not going to. Right. This guy here, Ooh. fingers over lens. One, two, three, four, effortless. This guy down here, effortless to there. One, two, three, four, one. Uh, we'll, we'll stay there, keep out of line of sight. Hide behind the box. Okay. Right, where are you turning up? Number two. Good. Right, we don't need to roll for anybody coming on. Which is a bonus. Right. He 
you can see him. So you're going to shoot. Right, he has three dice shooting. He is in the open. I need one success. Oh, yeah, two successes. So that is him, and his next go is grey four to there. Right, this guy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four to there. Holy cack. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, awesome. Over here, one, two, three, four. Blocking the doorway. Brilliant. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And these, he will move. One, his move of eight is to there, because that's the same as the previous round. So these two, ah, no, no, no. We have a director on here. He's going to shoot there. So, right, these, well, well, we'll see what he does first. If he kills him, and these two successes. Uh, yeah, he's gone. Dead. So, yeah, these will then go through to there. Because if we hadn't killed him, we would have come down this way. So, what are those? And possibly so would he. Um, I'm not sure I'm closest to target. So that is everybody. Nobody can come back on. We have a galactic core who can come on. One comes on at position five. One comes on at position five. Here we go. Alright, and so new round. New peg in, go we're racing up through charge. Hive interference. Charge The purge pause to receive a mission update. Only live ones will activate and are move and are activate this round. Leave this card at the side of the hostility tracker as a reminder. Oh that's awesome. That is awesome. So we put that there, so just the live one. That's a bit handy then. Trouble is, if the live one wasn't there, we could run through. We'd have a double move. We could get to here. We could get up here. Ah, oh. ah, oh, damn! Right. So let's go with Gak. Effortless. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. He's going to make a run up to the ship. Right here, Ariana. Effortless action to there. Oops, sorry, dude. Sorry. We're in short range. We're going to use a skill. To shoot. There we go. Remembering to do them this time. One, two, four dice. I need four successes on four dice. Maximum chance of five. <gasps> one, two, three, four. Live one is dead. Cannot come back on. There, that effortless. We've had a skill. Still got three actions. One, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three to there. This dude, effortless action to there. He will end up four squares behind. One, two, three, four. He, she will end there. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes. 
Oh wow, that was oh, oh. shit. That's just made this a lot more interesting. Right, so they can't do anything. This guy, he can see the. Uh, oh no, we've got to bring on one on first let's see where it comes on it comes on at number three so we've got another one over here number one at number three so he can see him but then he can't see him because of that barrier but going around this way he can see the assassin right the assassin Two is in cover, so that's three. The best he can do is three. So that is not going to be enough. So he's going to have to move one, two, three, four. Now he can shoot him. Two dice needing a three. One. Okay. Over here. The closest is two, four, six, eight, ten. This way. One, two, three, four. Still nothing to see there. So he'll go one, two, three, stopping at the doorway. Because he can't get through because Ariana is there. Um, new card. So that's that one done military intervention cover me purse the galactic core monitoring you are now ready to move in place two galactic core guards at the nearest entry point to a trader then activate them as if they were in the npc phase they will activate again right so we've got another two guys to come on um nearest entry point to a trader right so two four six eight Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, that would have been nice bringing them there. Right, so they are both coming on there. So they will activate. So they'll come one through there. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And they'll have a shot. In the open. Dink on the armour. Nothing. Nothing. So, these need to uh, get out of town. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, and an effortless to there. This guy. One, two, three, four. One, two. <clears throat> get around there because of him right she will shoot there we're not bothered about pegs in there so we're now going up through the charge just get the shots to I need to kill those yes but he comes back on. We're going to shoot again at that one there. Yes, he comes back on. We're going to shoot at that one there. We'll probably get a bit of cover, so I'll say three successes. There's three successes comes back on so that's three shots we will do a skill peg to do a stubborn move one two three and we'll get in the corner there we've also got an effortless that we'll do nothing about as well Right, so these are coming on. Doesn't really matter where. Two. One. Two. Three. 
two. And these two up here. So onto the purge. He one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, right in front of those. So he is after Ariana. Right. He can't see anybody. Yeah, he can't. He can see there. So he's just going to shoot. Boom. Done. He can't do anything else because he's shot. That one there is going to move. One, two, three, four. After him. Right, this one. One, two, three. Four, he couldn't get round to get to there, but that's the best option. These have nothing, so they will move. Double move to there. Eight gets me the other side of the door to there. One, two, three, four, and four, and four. Right, so he's come round there. Those two have just moved up to there as usual. He's made it to the door. And that is everybody. Right, new round. Getting near the top of charge. Right, what's it worth? The newest unengaged civilian, we don't have one. So that means we're gonna bring a bring one on. So it's one of these, start with the top is one, two. Five. So it's this dude. It's a butler and he comes on at location six all the way down here. Okay. Right then. So we can get three in here. All right, so let's just, uh, we'll just pause this and then come back. Right, so we're taking the roof off and that is the insides there. Looking lovely. We've got a cockpit in there as well. The seat can be removed to put somebody in with all the controls. Right, so. And the shuttle can carry three people. Right, so we'll take the seat out uh, like so. Right, so Gak. Here we go. One, two, three. So he's in. Uh, Get him in there, get in there, there we go. We've then got him, so an effortless, and then one, two, three, four, well in there. Uh, with the three actions, is going to get in there. In fact, so she's effortless, two actions to get in there. And I'll just check the rule on taking off. One second. All right. In the rules here, um, where are we? Up to three traders can be in a shuttle at once, and any trader inside the shuttle can use an action to take off. So she did an effortless to move out from behind that, and then two actions to get in, and she has a third action to spare, so she will use the action to take off and get out of there. Wow. Wow, indeed, that was really fast, which was uh, excellent, especially drawing that card from the event um, earlier. So, I managed to get off, get away. No extraction, we end up coming back to the uh, ship later once things have died down a little. But yeah, we now have that for six more missions and we pay the one thing it's got here uh, well you only have to pay the rental cost once and the rental cost is seven UA so we spend seven UA and get seven now we get six missions out of it so yes I will so we'll do that so we'll spend the seven, we've got plenty there. Um, we're not bothered about anything else. So we'll do the uh, post-match roundup and then show you the shuttle. Thank you. On the post mission, we're not gonna hire anything or well, buy anything. Uh, we've got everything that we need. We're not going 
to do any extraction because everyone had made it out. Okay, so straight onto the ship degradation phase. So we roll and we get a one. Roll twice more. So we have a six and a one. So six and a two. Uh, a two is propulsion reduces by one. One random equipment. Right, so again, random equipment. I think was just that. That. I don't think the guns are. No, the guns are fine. So we've got a ship part. We've got another ship part. Don't think none of these are armor. No, no, no. That one, no. Can't remember about these, but I don't think these are either. Six, eleven, six. Right, so we'll go one, two, three, four. Re rolling fives and sixes. One. Bloody hell, not again. Laser reroll again. And as we've gone past the buy phase, we can't buy that back. We're going to have to buy it back next go. And we've lost a propulsion. Right, so we're going to spend. Uh, no, we'll keep that. We'll spend some other money. Uh, so we'll spend two money along with the seven for the hiring of the um, shuttle in our bargaining so we'll go one three one so the two will repair the propulsion so that's fixed and back to maximum again so that will do we'll be on one three one and we have this beauty so there we go we got a gak flying it so detail does look rather rather pleasant so we're going in there take the lid off again we've got uh, the rest of the crew we'll pop the door back in as well but yeah that is a lovely lovely piece of uh, terrain feature to be added to your maps if you can fit it on the table because it is a beast oh look at that two four six eight inch by two four six eight inches by seven inches it takes up so you will need a big space if you want to play that in others right so that is everything we'll amend the score here back down to 131 and that is the end of the shuttle run mission so uh thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to see a future uh, missions but we were very very lucky on that one okay and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye wow that could be a lot harder than it was. Got lucky with the event card turning up when it did. Allowed us to kill the live one and run away fast uh, without the purge activating for a turn. We also persuaded the contact butler to give us a shuttle, which we now have for the next six missions. So we'll have to see how that plays out for us. But it does allow different tactics to be employed during the mission. Uh, so instead of going back to your ship at the end of the mission we can get this shuttle from anywhere on the board so if you like uh, what you see uh, please subscribe and leave any comments below and we'll see you later